The cross loop gen is a unique TWS product and quite literally because it is not just the earbuds that you get here but there's also a 3 watt built in speaker inside the case. Hi everyone, Aman here for Mr. Phone and in this video I'll be reviewing the Cross Loop Gen Earbuds Plus speaker. But before we start, like this video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our latest content. The case of the cross loop gen comes in a pill shaped design. At the top you get a two tone finish. On the left is the speaker mesh while on the right there's this rubberized sort of a wood finish with the brand's name embossed. The bottom of the case features a rubberized finish as well. Overall I like the design of the cross loop gen. This is the black and teak color option that I've got for review. The cross loop gen also comes in three different color options. Black and pine, all black and navy. Open the case which is not a one hand process, you'll see the slots for the earbuds on the right while the speaker sits on the left. As for the quality of the earbuds, well they are built out of plastic, they feature LED lights, they have magnetic pins and they come with silicone tips. The fit and finish are decent, the earbuds are touch enabled which means you can interact with them with single or multiple taps, more on that later and there's a microphone on each of them. To pair the earbuds for the first time with your phone or computer, open the case lid of the cross loop gen, of course make sure they are charged. Now on the source device, considering Bluetooth is turned on, select cross loop from the list and pair. Although device switching could have been done better right now if I want to switch my connection from device A to B. In order to do that, first I need to forget the cross loops on device A. Of course turn the earbuds off and then turn on again. Enter into pairing mode and finally connect with device B by heading into the Bluetooth settings. In terms of fit, despite having small ears and the earbuds being fairly chunky in size, the cross loop gen are lightweight and I had no issues with the fit whatsoever. I was easily able to wear them for long stretches without facing any major issues. Plus you also get extra tips bundled inside the box so finding the right fit shouldn't be a hassle. As for the sound quality, I feel that the cross loop gen offers balanced output. Now I won't call them the loudest but they do offer a good enough seal to block the outside noise and this is without any sort of noise cancelling tech on the earbuds. I also noticed that these earbuds are not bass heavy so if you're a fan of bassy output this might not be the ideal one for you but this is where the balanced output comes into play. I think the bass output is fine for the earbuds that cost about 2000 rupees and by the way the cross loop gen also does a decent job when it comes to the vocals and instrument separation while listening to music. Mids are handled well and this can also be seen when it comes to calling or watching movies. The vocals on this thing sound neat. But more than the performance of the earbuds, it is the speaker that is the star of the show. This tiny 3 watt wonder comes bundled inside the case and I am awestruck with its performance. The sound output on this mini speaker is loud and clear. Trust me guys, be it for watching movies or listening to music, you won't be disappointed. Here this quick audio sample compared to a portable Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> The cross loop gen features Bluetooth 5.0 and in terms of range, I was easily able to use it about 10-15 meter away from the source device with ease. Apart from this, the cross loop gen also features a few touch and tap functionalities. A single tap answers a phone call, it can also play and pause a music track. Tap and hold for 2 seconds on the right earbud increases the volume while a tap and hold for 2 seconds on the left earbud decreases the volume. 
A double tap on the right and left earbuds jumps to the next or previous track respectively. Finally, a triple tap enables the voice assistant. Crossloop claims a battery life of up to 20 hours and during my usage, I was easily able to use the earbuds for about three and a half hours on a single charge. And you can also expect the case to charge the earbuds fully about four times. And just in case, if you want to use the speaker in one go, expect that one to go for a little over three hours on a single charge, which I think is fine. For its asking price of 1,999 rupees, the Crossloop Gen hits the right balance when it comes to price to performance ratio. Overall, the connection was mostly rock solid and the sound output was good. Not to mention the 3 watt speaker, which I doubted when I first saw it as I unboxed the earbuds, turned out to be a pleasant surprise. The Crossloop Gen gets a thumbs up from my side, but most importantly, what do you guys think about this TWS product? Share your thoughts with me in the comments below. As always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Mr. Phone. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.